which muscle is responsible for flexing the knee joint? Your options are gastrocnemius, solis, quadriceps femoris, or hamstrings. The correct answer is D. That is hamstrings. The hamstrings is a group of muscles responsible for flexing the knee joint. Question number twenty-seven. Which muscle is responsible for abducting the shoulder? Your options are pectoralis major, supraspinatus, teres major, or subscapularis. The correct answer is B. That is supraspinatus. The supraspinatus muscle is located above the scapula and is involved in initiating abduction of the shoulder joint. Question number twenty-eight, dear friends, you are attending hundred most important and most repeated MCQs on human muscle system, and this is the part two of the series. I'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part, as the first part contains very important twenty-five questions that were asked in many previous exams, and the link of the video has been given in the description, or you can find at this i button. So watch this video till end to add more information to your preparation. And friends, if the video is helpful, then please do like and subscribe and share this video to every friend who are preparing for medical and nursing exams. Let's continue. Which muscle is responsible for elevating the scapula, shoulder blade? Your options are deltoid, trapezius, rhomboid major, or Levator scapulae. The correct answer is D. That is levator scapulae. The levator scapulae muscle elevated the scapula, assisting in movements like struggling the shoulders. Question number twenty-nine. Which muscle is responsible for extending the fingers and wrist? Your options are extensor carpi radialis longus. Extensor capi ulnaris, extensor digitorum, or extensor pollicis longus. Poly, and the correct answer is C. That is extensor digitorum. The extensor digitorum muscle extends the fingers and wrist. Question number thirty. Which muscle is responsible for extending the hip joint and laterally rotating the thigh? Your options are gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, or piriformis. The correct answer is A. That is gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus muscle extends the hip joint and is also involved in laterally rotating the thigh. Question number thirty-one. Which muscle is responsible for abducting the thigh at the hip joint? Your options are Gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, or piriformis. The correct answer is B. That is gluteus medius. The gluteus medius muscle abducts the thigh at the hip joint, moving it away from the midline of the body. Question number thirty-two. Which muscle is responsible for extending the big toe and And dorsiflexing the foot. The options are tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, gastrocnemius, or extensor hallucis longus. The correct answer is D. That is extensor hallucis longus, hallucis longus. The extensor hallucis longus muscle extends the big toe and dorsiflexes the foot. Question number thirty-three: Which muscle is responsible for abducting the fingers and wrist? The options are flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, flexor digitorum superficialis, or flexor digitorum profundus. The correct answer is A. That is flexor carpi radialis. The flexor carpi radialis muscle abducts the fingers and wrist. Question number thirty-four: Which muscle is responsible for 
protruding the lips like during kissing your options are masseter orbicularis oris temporalis or zygomaticus and the correct answer is b that is orbicularis oris the orbicularis oris muscle encircle the mouth and is responsible for protruding the lips question number 35th which muscle is responsible for externally rotating the shoulder joint the options are infraspinatus teres minor subcapillaris or supraspinatus the correct answer is b that is teres minor the teres minor muscle is located on the lateral border lateral border of the scapula and is responsible for externally rotating the shoulder joint question number 36 which muscle is responsible for flexing the foot and inverting it your options are tibialis anterior extensor digitorum longus peroneus longus gastrocnemius the correct answer is a that is tibialis anterior the tibialis anterior muscle is located in the anterior compartment of the leg and it is responsible for flexing the foot and inverting it question number 37 which muscle is responsible for adducting the fingers and wrist the options are flexor carpi radialis flexor carpi annulus flexor digitorum superficialis or flexor digitorum profundus the correct answer is b that is flexor carpi annulus the flexor carpi annulus muscle adducts the fingers and wrist question number 38 which muscle is responsible for compressing the lips example during whistling your options are masseter orbicularis oris temporalis zygomaticus the correct answer is b that is orbicularis oris the orbicularis oris muscle is responsible for compressing the lips aiding in action like whistling and puckering question number 39 which muscle is responsible for closing the eyelids your options are orbicularis oculi levator palpebrae levator palpebrae superioris frontalis or temporalis the correct answer is a that is orbicularis oculi the orbicularis oculi muscle is responsible for closing the eyelids protecting the eyes from the foreign objects and bright light question number 40 which muscle is responsible for extending the shoulder joint the options are pectoralis major deltoid latissimus dorsi or teres major the correct answer is b that is deltoid the deltoid muscle is responsible for extending the shoulder joint as well as other movements like abduction and flexion most repeat friends it is a time to comment your score out of 25 questions and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you take care